Hello, third rule. And this is about the crossing lines. Here I have a photo of my pillow and I recommend you to do the same thing of a pillow or a piece of cloth, whatever you have at hand, maybe just uh, something like this. Um, take a photo so you have the process of reduction of the third dimension already done by your mobile phone and we start drawing this. How can we draw this with um, crossing lines? Um, we start at the four tips of this pillow, meaning that we decide we will where we want to start. I start with this uh, uh, tip here. And I make a small mark uh, where it shall be. Now the question is to what direction do the lines, so meaning the seams of the pillow go for the next um, for the next uh, tip. And uh, to do this, I close one eye, hold my pencil over this uh seam and my fingers they slide along so that i have the same length from the beginning to here meaning it goes it's long like this and the direction how do i remember that direction i make a construction uh, over the dial of a, of a watch so this means when I decide to say what is the handle of the of the watch, what does it point to? So it's about to 10 o'clock. So I do the same thing here. So this would be 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, so 9 o'clock, uh, 10 o'clock here. So we have the other corner tip of the of the pillow here. And I measured also the length and I put it here. The same I do for this direction from this tip to this tip. I hold my directly over um, the pencil directly over the screen. So it's to one o'clock and that's the length. So one o'clock, something like this. So the other tip is here. And the fourth, I go from here, tip to here. I measure the length and I put it here. It's about 10 o'clock, same direction, not maybe 20 to 10, something like this. Okay, so this is the field where my pillow will be in. So what I'm, I'm doing, I'm starting to draw it with fluttering lines, always fluttering lines. And because the first line is only fluttering here, it's not a sharp edge, but a little bit. Then I do a second line here. It goes in and there comes another and this helps me. Okay, this goes like this. And you see, I draw the line with many different lines. Here I have a little bit of black underneath. I will immediately put it in. Okay, one long line here and then we have more lines here. I go to the directions, the wrinkles are leading into the form. So this is quite sharp here. I do it here and here again. And you see, wherever I think I'm right for the location where the line it should be, I let the line lines crossing meaning all the fluttering lines they start to cross wherever the object seems to be right something like this here we have a little indent okay and some other lines going to this maybe i have this here maybe it's black here and we have the seam here that goes like this. Okay. When I have done this, maybe I want to do add a little bit of gray here. On the knees, it's when I tilt the pencil so that it's really flat. I hold it like this so it's really flat. Then the stroke is wider. So I can do the black 
or the shadow underneath a little bit. Okay, that's pretty nice. And this is my pillow.